today we will see a mixing of three ingredients so in previous session we have seen like uh, two ingredients will be mixing up in a uh, like uh, in a container something like that so we'll be seeing like today like how to do when we have three ingredients and uh, if the three ingredients are mixed up like how to uh, like do such kind of questions we'll be seeing in this lecture okay so before directly jumping into directly into questions so it's very important to revise what we have like learned till now so in in last session uh, i have discussed with you about mixture and allegation so in that mixture and allegation only so i explained you what is mixture and what is allegation for you so uh, like i have explained with the different uh, so like how we will be using that mixture and allegation topic in different uh, mathematics topic for example we will be using in profit and loss uh, like percentages speed distance and time and uh, we'll be using in ratio and proportion and and many other comp like many other uh, uh, topics as well in mathematics i i told you like that so uh, like uh, so it must be like uh, uh, quantities same quantities like for example if it is like a percentage it should be in percentage right uh, like it's it is if it is in speed it should be in a kilometer or something like that so i explained in that manner so and i i told you the basic rule of allegation so i uh, like i explained you the very in easiest way so i explained you the basic rule of allegation and uh, like uh, by taking one simple example okay so this this is uh, we have discussed in the last session so if you missed up that uh, last session you can visit it uh, you can visit once so it will be more clearer for you so i'm attaching this uh, uh, link in the description the last session uh, link in the description so you may visit freely today we will be discussing like uh, when the mixture contains three ingredients so uh, there is a set of procedure we need to follow in order to uh, gain the solution in a very easy way so i'm telling you so just follow this procedure it will be very easy for you to get the solution very easily so let's start our session okay so when the mixture contains three ingredients suppose i'm explaining in a like you know in a theory way so that it will be very easy for you to remember and all suppose the three prices uh, let's consider as x per unit y per unit and z per unit so all these are in increasing order only for example 20 40 60 like that so the uh, so for all these three quantities there will be average right so the average price uh, will be naming it as a per unit okay a per unit so for example if a lies a in the sense the average price if a lies between x and y we have some procedure you know you, you all know right how to uh, do allegation and all so uh, so this is the three ingredients so we have three ingredients uh, in this uh, uh, topic today so we'll be writing the allegation in this kind of manner okay so we'll be writing like uh, so we already said we have x y z like that so we'll be writing this allegation in this way okay so i'm naming it as x y okay and we have one more allegation so we need to write allegation two times if you have three ingredients and if a lies between x and y we need to do like this okay so a is nothing but average price okay simple so i'm writing like this so this is the simplest way we need to follow and crack the solution okay so what i said what i told you until now is like uh, suppose if you, if you have three prices namely x per unit y per unit and z per unit so we name it as uh, average price as a per unit if a lies between x and y a in the sense average price a lies between x and y we need to uh, write our allegation in this way so we need to write two types of allegation over here like this ne next point so the next point is nothing but but when a lies between y and z so previously we seen if a lies between x and y we have taken our allegations this in this way okay so what if the uh, like uh, average price value uh, lies between y and z so we'll be writing in in this so we'll be writing a okay simply uh, if 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 average price lies between if average price lies if average price lie, lie between y and z we need to write the allegation in this way x z okay and we we also having uh, so I, as i said previously we need to write allegation two times and again average price and the allegation is uh, like y z okay so this is the exact way so what i told you until now is like i have told you what if the mixture contains three ingredients three ingredients in the sense we have taken x y z so we also name it as average price as a per unit so what if a lies average price average price lies between x and y so we need to draw our allegations like this okay 
but when a lies between y and z so we need to draw our allegation in this way okay so i'm explaining you by taking by considering two simple examples of this both things okay so we'll be getting like a very easy way to understand this topic okay so i'm saying that so uh, like after doing this uh, allegation what we'll usually getting in previous problem also at the end we got some ratio like that only we'll be getting at the end so that then the, so i'm explaining like the resultant ratio will be easily found by using two different ratios i'm saying okay so let's see couple of examples you'll be getting some idea how to do and all okay so i'm telling that i will be explaining into uh, in two different cases by using different examples okay this is the first question i'm reading question for you in what ratio the varieties of a sugar costing group is 10 per kg 12 per kg and 16 per kg mixed so that the mixture cost group is 13 per kg okay clearly told you what are uh, what if the mixture contains three ingredients okay problem contains three ingredients so they are saying like so as i told you right previously x per kg y per kg z per kg and this is the average price that is a 13 okay so simple so uh, compare with the uh, like what i told you previously it is very easy for you to attend and all uh, like do and all okay so so simply i'm writing uh, like so so 13 is the value 13 is the average price here so average price lies between uh, uh like in between x and y or uh, y and z so it is simple 13 is lies between 12 and 16 right so the average price here lies between y and z so y and z how to do so i i, I told you previously when a lies between y and z we need to take the allegation in this way okay so i'm writing in the same way here there is no new thing i'm writing okay so the concept only i'm writing over here so uh, let me write like they have given three ingredients x y z okay but they given 10 12 16 the, and uh, the average price the average price lies between x and y so that is called 13 okay so they given like this so what we need to uh, like find so in what ratio they will be asking so we need to find the ratio so uh, simply apply the allegation so we need to write xz and yz in the top of allegations so that is nothing but i'm writing directly 10 16 and 13 is the average price and what is the second one we need to write 12 16 and 13 so this is the two allegations we need to draw in order to find the ratio of these three quantities okay so if you subtract 16 minus 13 the resultant is going to be 3 so you can also write in the top so it will be very easy for you uh, to understand and all so this is the x quantity and this is the z quantity and this is the y quantity and this is the z quantity okay so if you subtract 13 minus 10 is going to be 3 only so 13 minus 12 is nothing but 1 and 16 minus 13 3 okay so what we need to uh, con uh, like find uh, we need to find x is to y is to z ratio so in the first allegation uh, uh, the, re the required ratio is uh, uh, we got is like 3 is to 3 and the second allegation we got 3 is to 1 so we can write 3 is to 3 as 1 is to 1 right that's it so 1 is to 1 and 3 is to 1 we got so from these two allegations we can easily find x is to y is to z right so x is nothing but 1 so directly we can write x as 1 so our answer is going to be 1 is 2 uh, so what is the value of uh, y so y is 3 so we will be writing here 3 okay so z value so we have two z's okay so remember this carefully so in these two allegations there are two z's we need to uh, add this two z's so here z value is 1 here z value is 1 so 1 plus 1 is going to be 2 okay 2 so this is the simple solution okay what i done here so i explained you two concepts what if the average price lies between x and y what if the average price lies between y and z so this example is related to the average price that lies between y and z so we taken two different allegations and we have find the ratio of x is to y is to z okay so i hope so this is the required ratio so in previously or uh, in previous uh, video also uh, like uh, while we having uh, two uh, uh, two variables we also got in the end the required ratio only so same like that so what uh, so this is the procedure we need to follow when we have three variables okay so or three ingredients 
so this is the first kind of example i want to tell you and the second kind of example i want to tell you is like uh, like this so i'm re so i hope you everyone uh, like got some clarity on the first problem so this is the first uh, second question so i'm reading question for you three types of a liquid cost rupees 120 per liter 150 per liter and rupees 160 per liter all three are mixed in a particular ratio to produce a liquid costing rupees 140 per liter find the ratio in which the three were mixed okay so it is also the, like a uh, previous previous one only but i taken a different kind of scenario so what is that scenario exactly so i'm writing the values like previously only i'm right so there are three uh, elements namely x y z so what they are saying so they are having set of like uh, 120 per liter 120 per liter 150 per liter 160 per liter okay 160 per liter so they are asking like they are mixed and produced a 140 per liter average price so average price they are saying here so uh, average price lies between 140 lies between between 120 and uh, 150 right so the average price lies between x and y so we need to follow the first kind of uh, allegation procedure so what is that uh, so i'm writing directly for you so we need to write our allegation like this 120 and 150 so 150 uh, like 1, 120 is nothing but x y x and it is a y so this is the first uh, like first uh, first way we need to do uh, this allegation and uh, we got a uh, like average price as 140 so we need to calculate this and the second allegation is nothing but we need to write x and z x and z here okay x and z is nothing but 120 and 160 so 140 is the average price we need to calculate this okay so with this we will be getting the required ratio so let's let's calculate this so 150 minus 140 is nothing but 10 and uh, 140 minus 120 20 so 160 minus 140 20 140 minus 120 20 so if you uh, like this is the required ratio we got if you simplify it this will be getting 1 is to 2 1 is to 2 and uh, 1 is to 1 so this is the thing so with this we can easily write uh, so with this we can easily write uh, uh, like a required ratio right x is to y is to z so for x we have value 1 and here too there are two x so here x having 1 here x having 1 so we need to add 1 plus 1 is nothing but 2 so x value is 2 and y value we are having 2 here so we need to write 2 here and z value we need to write 1 here so the required ratio is nothing but 2 is 2 2 is 2 1 so i explained you very clearly two scenarios in this video so let's see from the starting so what we have uh, learned in this lecture so when the what if the uh, ingredient like what if the mixture contains three ingredients three ingredients is nothing but we have considered that as x per unit y per unit and z per unit and i i said that we need to consider our average price as a per unit so with these two important points we have considered uh, two best scenarios two best scenarios like if what if a lies between x and y okay so i i, I given you this uh, so if a lies between a is nothing but average price if average price lies between uh, x and y we need to draw our allegation like this and uh, but when a, our average price lies between y and z we need to write our allegation in this way okay so i told you two different use cases and i explained you with two different examples so this is the second second scenario we have taken first example and the first scenario i explained you here so i hope you like this session if you like this session do share like comment to your uh, friends and colleagues who are preparing for competitive exams and other government exams okay so we'll be continuing this series uh, there are few other models as well we'll be uh, we'll be discussing in coming videos thank you for watching this video